What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to write exponential functions by using the information from a, a table, kind of like this, all right? So the equation or function that you want to use is y is equal to a times b raised to the x, all right? Another way that you might see this is f of x is equal to a times b to the x, all right? But in either case, y and f of x, they basically mean the same thing, all right? So what do these letters actually mean right here? Well, first of all, the x is your x value or your x coordinate. The y is just your y value or y coordinate. And when we write our exponential function, these are going to stay as x and y. You're going to leave them as letters or as variables. What we're actually going to try and figure out are what a and b are equal to, all right? These are the ones that we're going to replace with numbers. Okay, so here a is your y-intercept. And B is called your base, but a maybe more convenient way of thinking about this is you can call it your multiplier, right? Multiplier. Okay, so uh, let's start with the y-intercept right here. Now, if you don't remember what the y-intercept is, uh, let's just draw a little graph right here, okay? And then we're just going to say this is an exponential function, something like that. Looks kind of like that. All right, now your y-intercept is just the point where your graph right here intersects the y-axis. So it would just be this point right here, okay? And this point right here, there's something kind of special about it. So this point is always at the point zero comma some number, some y value, okay? But the important thing to notice here is what is your x value right here? It's a zero, right? And that's always going to be the case for the y-intercept. You're always going to have a zero for your x value, okay? So with keeping that in mind, if we're trying to figure out what a is over here, right, we're trying to figure out what the y-intercept is, you can just come to your table and just look to see where your x value is equal to zero, okay? So it'd be just right here at the very top, right? And what's paired with the zero? Well, it's a three, right? So then in this case, a would be equal to three, okay? So if we wanted to fill this out a little bit more properly, we could just say that this point right here with using this information from this table, is at the point 0, 3. Okay, so in this example, again, a is going to be equal to 3. Okay, now how can we find this other variable b right here? So again, I told you it's the multiplier, right? You can think of it as a multiplier. So the way it works is how do you get from one y value to the next one? Okay, because we're moving down in this direction, right? The graph is moving down this way. So we want to go from 3 to 6. Well, to get from 3 to 6, we just have to multiply by 2, right? How do we get from 6 to 12? Well, we would again multiply by 2. How do we get from 12 to 24? We would multiply by 2, right? And then from 24 to 48, again, multiply by 2. So you can see that we're always multiplying by 2, right? So our multiplier in this example would be 2, okay? So then we can say that b is equal to 2. Okay, so these are the only two pieces of information we need to find to figure out or to write our exponential function, right? So we're going to have y is equal to, and then a, right, a is equal to 3, uh, b is equal to 2, and that's raised to the x power, right? So there's your function right there. All right, here's our second example. So here we got some negative numbers, right, and then Again, we're reading the table going downward, right? So the exponential function we want to use is y is equal to a times b to the x, right? And the only things we need to figure out are a and b, right? So again, a is your y-intercept. So in this case, the y-intercept is 4, right? Because 4 is the number that's right next to the 0, right? Where x is equal to 0. So then here we're going to say that a is equal to 4. And then what's b? So b is our multiplier, right? So uh, again, reading it going down, how do you get from 16 to 8? Well, you multiply by a half, right? Or you can say multiply by 0 0.5. Either way is correct. These are both saying the same thing. So then how do you get from 8 to 4? Well, again, you would do the same thing, right? You would multiply by a half or 0 0.5. And then how do you get from 4 to 2? Well, same thing, right? Multiply by a half or 0 0.5. And in this case, uh, you can use the fraction or the decimal. I'm just going to use the decimal, right? 
So our multiplier is 0 0.5, right? We're multiplying by 0 0.5 in every case. So here, our multiplier B would be equal to 0 0.5, right? So we got our two pieces of information. So we can say that Y is equal to 4 times 0 0.5 raised to the X, right? There's your answer. All right, here's the last one. So this time our XY table is sideways, okay? But don't let that throw you off, right? We're still just going in order down the line like that. And one thing that you might notice is there's no zero on this table, right? So again, our exponential function is y is equal to a times b to the x, all right? So if we're trying to find the y-intercept, right, a, we need to find where x is equal to zero, right? But in this table, we don't have a zero, okay? Because this goes one, two, three, four. So we'd have to go back one space, right? to get to zero. So we can add a zero, we can just put a zero right there to complete this table, right? So how do you figure out what the y value would be? Well, you would use your multiplier in this case, okay? So remember your multiplier, you just kind of go down that way. So how do you get from one number to the other? Well, to get from one to four, you would multiply by four, right? To get from four to 16, you would multiply by four. To get from 16 to 64, you would multiply by four. All right, but the nice thing about this is it also works backwards, okay? So how do you get from 64 to 16? Well, you would divide by four, right? How do you get from 16 to four? Well, you would divide by four, right? I think you get the gist. How do you get from four to one? You would divide by four. So how do you get from one to this, whatever this number would be? Well, you would divide by four, okay? So what is one divided by four? Well, that would just be equal to one fourth, right? One divided by four, okay? Or you could write it as a decimal, which it would be 0 0.25. I prefer the decimals because they're a little cleaner. I'm not a big fan of fractions and I kind of doubt you are too, all right? So we're gonna use a decimal instead. So the number that's gonna be next to the zero over here is 0 0.25, okay? So this is what our A is going to be. Okay, so we're gonna say A is equal to 0 0.25. Okay, and then we need to figure out what B is, right? Our multiplier. Well, we already figured out what our multiplier is, right? We kept multiplying by four going down, right? Going down the graph or the table that way, right? So our multiplier is just equal to four, right? So then we can, again, fill out our exponential function. So it'd be Y is equal to 0 0.25 times four raised to the x. Boom! So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.